sneaker. We're gonna send you a free present. Tell us how you like it. If they're willing to do that, that's a bonus too. You know, if I see somebody in Asia or uh, somebody in Europe and they say, you know, uh, come over to Paris or come over to Paris, that we want to let them know the sneaker. Go get you a sneaker show. That's 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 the thing you have. They want to subscribe to you. They want to um, comment or share it here because you know they just they want. But it's the, it's the strangers that you're going to reach out, and those are the people that I'm excited to interact with and meet um, through doing this channel. Um, I travel a lot, so I want to be able to meet people and, and see their culture. Bro, I got a question. And yeah. see what if I get a uh, picture with you? Uh, and see how oh, for sure, man. Wow, 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 wow. Well, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Stax, aka Sneaker Master. Um, feeling a lot of love right now, as you've seen in the previous video, man. Um, your boy's going big time, y'all. <laughs> nah, 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 but for real, that was in Best Buy. Shout out to my homie, Spooky Boogie Guts. I hope I'm saying it correctly. I hope that's how it was. Spooky Boogie Guts, you know, I, I had a great opportunity to sit down with him while he's on the job, you know, and we talk sneakers, we talk life. We talked everything, and, and it was just a pleasure um, to be um, in the presence of somebody who was such a good listener, but also had something uh, to say. And I, I look forward to you being here on Shoe Views too, so we could discuss some of those things on camera and share it with the world, because I think they need to hear what you got to say. Um, it was such a, a humbling experience uh, to um be in your presence because and, and i embrace all the love and the energy that you you were giving me and and this is what can makes me continue and want to continue to go forward uh, with the shoe views and i appreciate not just you but i appreciate everyone um that's uh shared commented liked um this is big episode three i didn't think i was gonna make it this far i mean I, when i did episode one before i even did episode one when i did the editing man i wanted to give up so bad it was, just, it was killing me sleepless nights um and just the obstacles of trying to uh even export a video um was it, it was it, it was it was killing me you know and so um, it's just humbling to know that all this work is paid off and hey man, I don't need to have a million subscribers The subscribers that I have thus far um, Has been very great uh, supportive and I greatly appreciate that and um, This is who I do it for people like y'all who appreciate and, 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 and support and, and, and enjoy the content that I'm bringing you know what I mean? Um, it's not easy and um, I never Really, well, I kind of thought it was gonna be easy. I won't lie. I think I thought it was gonna be easy, but it's not as easy as it looks. So, um, and, and, and just being there um, and having people sort of gather around and, and, and watch shoe views on the on the big screen in Best Buy, that was such a humbling experience. And just even having the opportunity of of, of, of being there and not even expecting something like that to happen um, was very humbling and stuff like that. And um, and, and, and just the responses from everyone who's taken the time to either slide in my DM and show some love, comment on my photos on my Instagram and show some love, comment on the YouTube and show some love, um, comment in person in these sneaker lineups and show some love. Um, it just shows that I'm reaching the masses and I, I hope like I get better at this. I hope that I, get, I can expand in the subscribers and the followers and you can enjoy and sort of embrace what I'm trying to, to, to get out there. Um, it's slowly coming. I mean, the content slowly coming on what I want to do with this channel um, is only uh, going to work with the help of y'all. So I can't do this on my own. And um, spread the word out there. Let them know Shoe Views is, is the joint, is the new YouTube joint. And uh, I appreciate all the love and the support that I've got thus far and, 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 and being on episode three, it's a big deal to me. I'm not getting paid for this, I mean, and, 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 but I enjoy it and I love it. So it's a big deal to me, you know what I mean? And uh, coming this far and, 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 and editing and watching the work that I've done and, and seeing it on YouTube and seeing the reaction from people, um, it, it's just a great feeling and, and it's definitely humbling and stuff like that. And I got a whole lot in store. Uh, going forward and I'm getting the hang of it now so 
watch out now i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming with that that good stuff you know what i mean so um and i got some surprises for the subscribers in the near future so keep yourself posted keep on the lookout keep watching you know I, i'm trying to be as consistent as i can with the episodes and stuff like that but it's really hard when you're in line when you know you should be editing it's kind of hard when you know you gotta sleep in there somewhere and, and still kind of almost somewhat i don't really have a social life but if i did like you know and i apologize for those who i take a little bit longer now to respond um on instagram or whatever it's, it's nothing against i don't feel like i'm bigger than anybody else it just let you let you know that your boy is putting in a lot of work a lot of sleepless nights to get this content out and i'm doing it for the love i'm not doing it for anything else but the not uh, the love of the culture the love of just wanting to share a lot of things with y'all and stuff like that so So we're on our way to Walmart to pick up these uh, storage bins uh, to show you how to store your sneakers for uh, a low, for the low. I wanna see you drop like the prices at Walmart. You gotta play this game small, no small talk. Heavy hit them out the park like Sammy Sosa. Only time I know these cowards trying to blow me out like a candle. But I'm gonna keep on walking on these haters like sandals. Don't get caught up in the drama or these scandals. I stay on point like Chauncey Billups, homie, peep my handles. Cause when you this hot, they all wanna fan you. But they wanna see you drop like the prices at Walmart. You gotta play this game. What's good, YouTube? This is your Stacks, aka Sneaker Master. And y'all here on site in Walmart um, because I was trying to show you how I store my sneakers and the most economical way for you to store your sneakers now on the Cutina store site. Um, if you live in Canada, it can get quite costly. So I think three of them cost about $60 and after the U.S. exchange or the Canadian exchange plus the shipping, um, you're looking at close to $90 uh, after taxes and, and, and conversion. And that can get quite costly, especially if you collect as many sneakers as I do. Or, so you're spending way more money than you're really supposed to. And on top of that, if you have a huge size foot, I'm, I'm talking about maybe 11 and up, um, then you know it gets kind of weird because I don't really like to have my sneakers laying down. I need to stand up tall just like me. So, this is where you can see my home. I left the tag on there so that you can see that I actually purchased this from Walmart. Um, I know in Michigan they sell them for about $10.97. Over here, if you get a look, in the price is $19.97. 13% taxes, you're looking at about $22. Um, yeah, and here it is. So, as you can see my setup, and I see a lot of folks on my IG starting to now convert to this type of storage. Um, and I respect y'all for, for doing it. I don't call it Swagger Jack, and I think it's, I respect y'all for doing it because, you know, it's just, it's just spreading love, and I want to spread it out here. Some people told me, don't tell them where you got it. Don't tell, well, why not? I mean, these things are always in stock. Um, I want to make everybody's sneaker collection look fly, look good, and stuff like that. I'm not a hater, you know what I mean? So I want to share what my knowledge, and this is what Shoe is about, about sharing the knowledge, sharing the culture, sharing uh, everything. So, as you can see, um, in the inside bin here, I should get this open. I should top it open. They ain't watching me, so it's all good. It's not. But in the inside bin, um, it's big enough to fit up to a size 12, maybe even a 13 in there. And you could put it real tall, even with your high tops in there. And it sits in very nice. It's got the clear screen on it. And you can see how it sits well in my house. Um, I mean, you can move the tag to make it look clean. I just kept the tag on because I wanted to show y'all. I had a few comments where it was like, you know, why did you keep the tag on it? I left the tag on it because I, my intention was to share with y'all, this is where I get it from, the Walmart. You can also go with the white version. I mean, this is not the right white version, but um, they, they do come in white as well, right here. Um, me, I'm not a fan of white sneakers. I'm, so I don't like my fingers to black just in case my hands are dirty and they it or any type of stuff and whatnot. It won't look it won't make it look dirty, it won't make it look uh it'll make it look clean or clean but if you prefer the white look, uh you can go with that one as well. 
I write my YouTube videos and I just wanted to share that with you and I hope that this type of storage is cost efficient as it is for me and uh, I mean no disrespect to the container store or whatnot but I guess it's a little pricey when you live on this side of the north side of the border so I hope this is how we know how to store this cost efficient way. Alright so setup is not quite complete but uh, this is how it will look when you stack when you stack on top it's a pretty clean look um, and also uh, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on those sneaker containers at the uh, or the sneaker container store the container store um, this is a great cop for y'all um, I know a lot of people were following me on IG and started using this method because it's just more cost efficient and I, it's still a clean look um, if you wear a bigger size of foot then uh, what happens is you're able to stand your complete shoe up right fully and it's just a pull out drawer uh, very clean uh, keeps the dust away um, it goes in quite easy and um, goes in quite easy put all your kicks in there um, I like it comes in either a black or white I think there's also another color if, depending on which Walmart you are but the black I just find that it just looks a little bit cleaner I mean sometimes the white depending on the way you're or where you're putting them uh, will look much cleaner uh, but see just a, it's just a neat look for all your sneakers and I believe like this the container store they sell it for like sixty dollars us and if you're in canada like i am uh at that point you're looking at exchange then you're looking at uh, shipping costs um so if you have a large sneaker collection um, it's going to be quite costly just to store your sneakers um walmart will carry these um and they come in a, a three one two three and uh they're about after taxes canadian is 22 dollars. i don't know how much it is us but uh that's that's what you're looking at as far as uh cost and it's just a clean look i i mean obviously there's certain people that are going to want to go with the because that's the sneaker look but if you just want to keep it economical this is my uh sort of version i left the stickers on so you can see that it was purchased from walmart and that's what you're looking for and uh i mean hey people can clown you and say all types of things but it's a clean look and if you got a big foot uh, a size 11 11 and a half 12 uh, any any size will fit but i'm just saying if you have a larger foot i mean i hate the fact that i see a lot of people put their sneakers sideways inside this one you can keep your, your shoe right up right stand tall and uh it just it's just a better look in that sense so it's your boy Stacks, aka Sneaker Master, signing off. Just giving you uh, a look at how you can store your sneakers. Um, this is one way, and um, in future you shall see when everything is connected uh, how everything will look. But uh, this is how you can start off by uh, storing your shoes and making your collection look much leader. I do keep the boxes, um, and the reason I keep the boxes is just because. Um, I just, I just, I just can't get rid of them. It's Friday morning, 5.01 a.m. New location, exclusive. Travis Scott's, Gold Toe Ones, Restocks. Let's get it! What are you guys out here for? You're here lined up at last exclusively. Fuck exclusively, yeah. But how long y'all have been out here for? Two days. Two days? Yeah. What they got in there? Uh, Travis Scott's, some Jordans, uh, some Yeezys. Cool. Cool.
I love sneakers. I love the culture. I love the people that collect the sneakers. I love the people that do justice when they sell the sneakers to people like me who appreciate the sneaker. Now there's one beef I got a little, I got a little beef. Um, they might not know it, well they know it, but I'm gonna address it publicly. Um, there's a store um, that just recently over the last few years opened in Toronto, kind of created a little bit of wave. I go way, 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 way back before they came to Toronto. Um, I shop at Exclusity. I shopped at Exclusity. And this is when they were downtown Montreal and uh, got prices for the low. And I mean, sneakers that we saw fly off the shelf, they had boxes upon boxes of them. Almost even made me question their uh, authenticity of, of the sneaker itself. Um, because, you know, I was seeing like BHM, uh, LeBron, uh, uh, LeBron 11s there and, and certain Jordans that were just on sale for ridiculous prices and uh, I walked in there and, and, and the staff was so friendly and welcoming it was it was just a great vibe when I walked into that store in Montreal and, and they were just really helpful and just really down to earth and mad cool now they recently I don't even know because I don't keep track of this store out here um, opened a store in Toronto. Um, they got a little bit of a wave, then they branched off, opened, I think, a store in Brampton, and then they opened a store, God knows where, but then they just recently opened, which you saw in the video, a store right on downtown. So now they're competing uh, on Young Street, the longest street in the world, uh, by the way, and uh, they opened a store right down the street from the Jordan store, right down the street from House of Hoops, right down the street from Champs. And then you got the big Eaton Center Mall. If you know Toronto, um, this is where you need to go. Uh, Champs, Foot Locker's in there as well. Now you have Foot Action in there. So they're competing with all these stores. Now, the reason I shop at Champs, Foot Locker, HOH, the Jordan store, is because they are in a way regulated. I mean, Mind you, there's a few people that backdoor a few pairs and, and, you know, fix a few raffles, which I'm very aware of. But that's all changed up a little bit now. I think management's cutting down on it. And uh, they are now sort of... And the staff is just really cooperative. And, hey, I'm not mad, you know, because I can't sit here and lie. There was a few favors that's been done for me several years ago uh, for getting sneakers and stuff like that. And, uh, and I appreciate y'all and I'll never, you know, uh, say no names, you know what I'm just trying to say, but, uh, I appreciate y'all and stuff like that. And I ain't mad at those who got the plug or the hook up the inside job or whatever the case may be, but then you take it to the extreme with exclusivity who caters to, as I like to call them, the boys club. I'm not part of the boys club. Don't affiliate me with them. I don't get down like that. I don't get down with hype beast. Don't take away from the culture. Exclusivity takes away from the culture. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can give you a story. It was, was it last year? Anyways, it was the time when the bread Yeezys came out. You know, the the black, I don't collect Yeezys, so I don't even know how to, I think they're called the V2s. Got the little red white writing on the side of them and stuff like that. Um, I was camped out there trying to help a boy out but also trying to get myself a pair so I could trade it off or or resell stood out there all night I think the Eris 11s the maroon ones uh, they came out that day as well I wanted to cop them for my daughter so I was in line and uh, I remember staying there all night it was winter months it was in December mad cold mad snow on the ground I went to my car to lay down stay warm heat myself up and whatnot. Um, to only find out in the morning, to only find out in the morning that that this little Egyptian lady, um, I guess the manager of the store, uh, came up to me and said, you wasn't in line. And I was there the whole night. And she called me out 
she threatened the police on me. Um, it was a very nasty experience for me. I've never experienced that in any sneaker lineup I've been at um, where things have got ridiculous and crazy and wild and everything like that. And I felt embarrassed, not only embarrassed, I felt very angry, um, you know, that she would address me in such a manner. And uh, I didn't get the shoe. I stayed out there all night. I stayed out there. I froze my feet. I couldn't feel my feet. Um, it was a horrible experience. And, you know, the horrible experience was not the fact I wasn't getting the sneakers. I didn't care about it anyways. It was the fact that, you know, she catered to the boys club. She had a certain group there that she catered to. Um, I was really um, upset about that. And she ended up there's other people, and the thing about it is there was other people sliding in, and and you know what I mean, and she she didn't call them out. She called out of everybody. She called me out. It was really hurtful, and I swore to myself, I don't care if the sneaker I want in the world would come out in that store. I am not going to spend a single dime, cent, dollar in that store. I will never support exclusivity. I will never support anything that they do. I. I you know, I don't like to wish bad upon people, but I do not, I do not, I will never support bad, I will never support anything that they do. And you know what I'm saying? For that reason, because, you know, for one, you're supporting the, the boys club out there, you know, you're back doing pairs, you're fixing raffles. I know about this, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, you want to disrespect somebody and threaten them with, with police activity, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's, that's a no-no right there. And then... You know, you're coming into a city that you're not from, and you're coming out here, and you don't know that there's people in this city that have more power than you. You know what I'm saying? That could take you out at any single time. I'm just letting you know that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, not really fond of them and everything like that. Um, you ruined the sneaker culture for the city. Um, you know, so that's why I didn't stand in your line for your Travis Scotts or your Yeezys or whatever you were trying to. Uh, Finesse Toronto with, um, you know what I'm saying? I'll never, I'll never support that store for that, for that reason and stuff like that. You know, you, 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 you took the chance. I mean, I still got my pairs. Don't, don't get it twisted. I still got my pairs of Aries. I got mad pairs of Aries 11s that day. Um, you know, but you could have, you could have taken away that opportunity for me to get that for my daughter who really wanted that shoe. If I only relied on you to get that sneaker from, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, I'll never support that, that, that sneak. I'll never support exclusivity ever. If you're ever in Toronto, you know what I'm saying? Hey, do what you do. But like I said, we got the Jordan store, we got Foot Action, we got Foot Locker, we got HOH. Spend your money there. Spend your money on some store that, that's gonna respect the culture, respect the, you know, respect you as an individual. Respect that, you know what I'm saying? None of these bootleg little companies trying to come up here, they got a little Nike contract, they got a little Adidas contract and they try to slang a couple pairs and make a name for themselves. Hey, exclusivity not in my book. You know what I'm just trying to say? Do unto others that you have them do unto you, you know what I mean? And that's the golden rule. Always remember that you as a consumer, you as a consumer have a lot of power. You don't really understand that. And that's why I wanna educate some of y'all on is that your dollar is coming out of your pocket. You go to work and you make your money. You know what I'm saying? So you should be able to decide where your money's going to. And sometimes we don't get that chance because you know we get taxes taken out or we have bills to pay. We gotta pay our phone phone bill. If you got kids, you gotta pay that. If you gotta pay school tuition or you gotta pay for gas in your car. Those are uncontrollable things. But when you're buying something that is a material item that is not necessarily a need but a want, you have the power as to where you control where your dollar goes to. So, if you go to a restaurant and they disrespect you, if you go to a store and they don't, you don't feel welcomed in, or if somebody makes you feel uncomfortable, you have the choice now whether or not you want to spend your dollar there. So, if anybody disrespects you, if anybody makes you feel uncomfortable, if anybody's biased against you, discriminates against you, is prejudiced against you, you have a choice as to where you want to spend your money. So why give, no matter what it is, if you have that choice, why spend that money at somewhere where you don't feel that love and that respect and anything like that? 
you may not matter because they still have numbers, but you pulling out is just, you know, you're, you're, you know, like you, you're not contributing to the, the amount of money that they're getting. Maybe one day, like somebody else will follow suit, follow fashion, and this is how you destroy a business. This is how you 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 have power. You may not think you do, whether you have a hundred dollars in your bank account, whether you have a hundred thousand dollars in your bank account, whether you have a hundred million in your bank account. You have power as to where you spend your money. So do not allow yourself to fall victim to these people who disrespect you, who make you feel not welcome, who who do not want you to have what you have. You control where you spend your money. So make sure that me, I will never spend a, a, a dollar, a dime, a nickel, anything. I will not even like throw a penny in front we don't have pennies out here no more but i would never even throw a penny in front of that exclusive store so that they can even walk out the store and pick that up and put it in their cash register because it's a respect thing it's a it's a respect thing it's you control just remember y'all if i'm giving you any knowledge right now um you go to a restaurant and the service is bad you don't got to tip them or nothing like that do not spend your money on somebody who doesn't appreciate you who doesn't respect you you have that power stand up for what you believe in make sure that you use your power you have a lot of power and and you got to use it